Is that about what you expected from this game? Um, uh, yeah, kind of. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I didn't expect them to score 80 because we were having a lot of bad defensive mislaps. But, um, I mean, I feel like we came out aggressive to play. We were just making a lot of mental mistakes. That's it. Scott, you had uh, 14 assists. At one point, you only had one turnover. You had a 14 to 1 ratio. What was the, the flow like? It seemed like you and Momo were just uh, playing so well together today. Uh, it was hot, and uh, I was just looking for uh, He had 20 points in the first half, and uh, he had the same group coming out in the second half, so I was just looking for him. What was the difference when you broke the game open in the second half? Uh, it got close again in the early part of the second half. What, what was the difference? Defense. You seem to be shifting back and forth, man to man, to to zone, to try to stop their outside. What, what was the difference? Would you say? Um, they we were pressing them, and they kept setting that ball screen with the big man in the middle of the court, and uh, coaches kept throwing different defenses at them, so we could mix it up, so we could finally find out what we could get a stop in, and then we found out what we were getting a stop in, and then we just continued with that, and then once we got that stop, we just kept getting stops. Anything else, Scott? Uh, a solid win. Uh, what was what were you thinking watching Momo Jones score 43 tonight? I was thinking we needed every point of him because we weren't getting very many stops, and the other and the other team was on fire. So uh, I'm glad he came to that tonight. But it's not a coincidence to me. He's worked really hard the last few days and picked up his work ethic. And we keep reminding him every time he works hard, he has a good game. This was a special one for him. And Scott Machado, 14 assists, just two turnovers on the game. They seem to play so well together today. Yeah, they did, and Scott did a great job, as always, of finding guys on the floor and getting everybody involved and picking his own spots as well, and he's a terrific leader. Tim, so when, when it's uh, whatever, 65, 65 or something like that, I know offense is not a problem for you guys, but was defense? Yeah, we weren't doing a good job with that ball screen they were throwing at us, and I think that was the majority of it, is that we would either double when we weren't supposed to be doubling, so they were really good. They spaced out and rotated the ball, and a lot of times it was a deflection that they came up with, but they'd make that extra pass, and they nailed the shot every time. And once we stopped the doubling and did a better job on the ball screen, we got a lot better defensively. And you can ask the guys to do it all day long, and certain times they stay focused and certain times they don't. I think they had the right energy and adrenaline to start the game where they came to compete, but I don't think their focus was where it needed to be on the details. And offense, why is your team so good offensively? Well, I think tonight was a good game for us because obviously Momo played so well, but I think we shot the ball as a team well. When we shoot the ball, we can put up points. You know, the games that we struggle in is when we're not putting the ball in the basket. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Coach, just, you seem to be shifting back and forth uh, zone to man to man and at times doing the full court pressure. What are some of the keys? What, what makes uh, your defense work the best? Really, it's a matter of us just trying to throw the other team a little bit off and see where they have problems. We'll try a number of things and, and chart it and, and understand later in the game which ones we want to go back to. So sometimes, even though we'll get a few stops, we'll, we'll go to something new so we know later in the game that we have one, two, three different options, whatever it may be. In this case tonight, I thought we found something around the, I don't know, eight-minute mark or so where we got a lot more solid, and we kind of just stayed with that a good deal of the time, adding a press or two here and there. Coach, does this make you feel uh, prepared for uh, Saturday night at Manhattan? I don't think anything makes you prepared for the next game. I think it's the work we do between now and then that's going to get us prepared for that. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much. Thanks Thanks to you. See you. Yep. you hey, sorry. Hey, that's okay. Um, I was just wondering if you could talk about Lowell's performance tonight. Uh, yeah, it was just an outstanding performance by him. He worked hard the last couple of days, so again, I'm not surprised he played as well as he did. 43 points is a whole other level, but I've seen him in his own in practice where he can get like that and he can get unstoppable, and I thought he was going through that tonight. And you could tell he felt it. So he was taking all types of shots and he was finding a way to put him in the basket. And he had that special focus on tonight. Um, when he got his third foul, we were debating keeping him in or taking him out, but we just felt he's a mature enough player that he should be able to play with three. So we're glad we left him in there and that he didn't get a fourth foul and he was able to continue to score and be the rest. Okay. Uh, how did you shut down Phoenix just tonight? I mean, Lardo was kind of quiet in the, half the second half of the second he half. He probably got tired. Yeah. <laughs> he got tired of making shots. Uh, we concentrated a little bit more on him in the last 10 or 12 minutes of the game. We were trying to tell our guys to make somebody else beat you. Let's stop falling asleep on him. First time we faced him, he didn't play. So try to tell our guys that we knew he was dangerous. I don't know if guys always believe what they hear from a coach. Sometimes they have to experience it firsthand. And in the first half, they really experienced it. We played an unbelievable first half. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Today, uh, your career high. What did it feel like out there? You really look like you're very confident. Um, I felt like Superman. Um, I felt like Superman. 
um, there's no other words to describe that. Um, it's a feeling that's indescribable, um, especially in a college game. Um, it's very rare that um, college athletes have, you know, 40 in games or 50 in games. And, you know, there was uh, there was a guy I want to say, but this week or last week that had um, yeah, 50 points or 50 plus points in a college game. You know, and I looked at it and you know, I said to myself, I said, man, only I wish I can do that. You know, and I was like, you know, if he can do it, then I can do it. And, you know, I worked hard all, all week um, with my coaching staff, just in the gym, shooting, 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 getting up reps. Uh, one of my good friends came down from Queens, you know, made sure that I was in the gym 24 hours a day, 6 o'clock in the morning, you know, 30 minutes. You know, if I had 30 minutes before class, 30 minutes before class, he would come in and he would rebound for me. Um, you know, it was just a constant grind. It was, it was really, really no sleep. Um, and, you know, it was no getting tired. It was just, you know, you got to work. You know, if you if you love this game and, you know, the next level is somewhere where, where you want to go, you got to work. And, um, you know, I think that really helped me. And, you know, I just got in the gym and I worked, and it paid off to me. It seemed like you had a couple of situations. You got knocked around under the basket on that one charge. You had, uh, but you still came back. Uh, didn't The uh, physical play didn't bother you. Um, I mean, I'm playing with an injured finger. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's not much pain or, or things that can harm me. Um, you know, a little bump or bruise or, you know, a little knee, you know, a little fall to the ground. Um, it's, it's part of basketball. Um, and you got you to get up and you got to continue to play the 40 minutes that you designed to play. Um, you know, and tonight I think we did that as a team, collectively, um, not just myself. Um, this was a team, a team effort. Um, you know, I couldn't have done this without my team, um, Scott Machado. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful point guard to have. Uh, wouldn't want to play with anybody else. Probably the best point guard that I've ever played with in my life. Um, and, you know, he just, he found me. Um, night in and night out, he finds me. He believes in me. And tonight, you know, it was just a night that I was knocking down shots and, you know, it went our way. And it, it was a great game collectively. What, what makes you guys so dangerous offensively? Um, any one of us could have came on and had this game tonight. Um, Scott could have had this game. Scott had a, a 30 and I want to say 15 game early in the year. Um, Glove could come out and have this night. Um, so, you know, you got three guys who can put up high numbers. Um, not a lot of teams have that. Um, you know, then you got guys like Sean Armand who comes off the bench that's a sharpshooter. You know, Smythe, that's a sharpshooter. So, you know, on any given night, anybody can have this night. Uh, you know, my teammates just allowed it to be me tonight. Um, all week in practice, you know, they rolled me all week in practice. Every teammate, they screamed at me, they yelled at me, you know, they pushed me around and, you know, they told me, you know, if we, if we want to make an NCAA run, you have to step it up. Um, you're a person that's been there and, you know, they just, it was a nag. Um, you know, it's something that I can say I never want to go through again. Um, but it was it was great to see that my teammates had a lot of confidence in me and whoa, whoa, whoa. you know for for them to do that um, for them to actually come to me personally and say look man you know we want to get there and you have to you have to go it was just it, it, it was great and tonight you know this was my thanks to them. So Mama, this is the time for the team to really pick up its game <laughs> with the MAC tournament less than a month and the NCAA's after that potentially. Um, yes. Um, Tonight we needed to come out and we needed to grow up um, as a team collectively, uh, and I think tonight, you know, we took a step towards that. We didn't have the great at first half, um, but we came out in the second half and we played defense and we played solid and we played as a team, and you know, we came out with a win that you know we could have lost. You know, if chips wasn't thrown our way, we could have lost or we could have won by just two points. But tonight we came out in the second half and you know we just we just kept knocking at the door, we kept knocking at the door, and you know. Finally, you know, the door knocked down and, you know, we opened up the game. And you looked very intense on defense, especially when you were leading the full court press. Uh, how did you feel about the, de the team's defense tonight? Um, I don't think we played great defense. We gave up too many points, way too many points. Um, you know, second half, so-so. Uh, um, but we could have done better. Um, we should have had more stops than we had. You know, um, point blank in the story. We didn't play the defense that Iona is capable of playing. And if we play defense like that, you know, we're going to get our heads smacked in night in and night out. Um, you know, we won a game, but we're not happy. Um, we got to go back to the lab and, you know, we got to work on things that we got to work on and we got to get better. Tonight was just a step towards that. What was going through your mind when uh, Coach took you out and you got the standing ovation? <coughs> um, man, uh, 
find Machado. Um, find him and just thank him. Um, and that's what I did. Uh, just to thank him for believing in me. Um, telling me every night that you know, this is something that you do. You know, um, this is something that you know we brought you here for. So for him to find me tonight and for him to keep beating that in my head night in and night out, you know, calling me when I have down, you know, practices or something like that, just to tell me to keep my head up, um, it's great. Um, to have a coaching staff that believes in you is great. And, um, you know, it's all the thanks in the world to them. Um, you know, I've had, I had coaches who stayed in the gym all night long with me, you know, for three days, all night long. Just... Night in and night out, you know, there was no breaks, um, there was no slack, you know, there was no, you know, I'm tired, can we get a rest? It was, you know, if this is what you want to do and this is what you love, you're going to work. And they made me work. Um, what were you working on? Three-point shots, um, pull-ups in the lane, um, finishing, um, free throws, just, just everything. And um, I think, you know, my coaching staff, They've done a great job in just believing in me. Um, you know, at times we go through our ups and downs, but they believe in me. Um, and, you know, this week they kind of showed me, you know, that they really, really cared about me. Um, you know, they sat me in the gym and it was it was sort of like, you know, basketball 101 all over again. Um, and, you know, I love them for that. Um, had you been going through kind of a, a downslide before this game? Right? Um, struggling. had a bad game at St. Peter's. Um, but, I mean, before that, I mean, I was having... <laughs> to me and to everybody else, I was having a superb season. Season, um, I was averaging, you know, something like 15 points a game. But <laughs> for a player like me, they didn't expect that. Um, my teammates don't expect that of me, and I have to give them more because they demand more of me. Um, so I have to demand more of myself. And tonight was just a, a step towards that. We get to go.